Whether in a car, a boat, a big rig, or at your desk, having your iPad mounted in a fixed position can be very beneficial. This is the LifeProof Cradle for iPad Mini. It's molded to work specifically with their free and nude cases. LifeProof boasts that it has a lockable design that provides maximum security for your iPad Mini. Let's take a quick look at the hardware and see if it's worthy of the LifeProof name. The cradle is custom molded to hold the iPad Mini by the four corners. This keeps all the ports and buttons accessible while in the cradle. It has a universal amps mount with four mounting holes on the back which I've attached with two bolts to a ball mount from RAM mounts. This isn't just your run of the mill plastic, the material feels very durable. From the textured back to the honeycomb interior, this thing screams quality. I've been very impressed with the materials. If you do decide to purchase this cradle, you'll definitely need some sort of amps compatible mount to attach it to, and RAM mounts makes about anything you could imagine. I've attached another ball mount to my desk with a C-clamp, and I connect the two with a double socket arm. Once you tighten this down, the iPad is very solid. This has a lot more to do with the RAM mount though than with the LifeProof Cradle. To insert, you place the bottom of the iPad in first and then snap it down into the cradle. Removal is just as easy using the single latch. It fits very snug thanks to these four soft foam cushions underneath. This gives it a very satisfying click and it snaps firmly into place. One handed use is a breeze as well. Since the side of the cradle is cut out, you can grab the iPad Mini by the side and use your thumb to activate the latch. But that's where the good news ends. LifeProof promises maximum security for your iPad Mini using the one-handed latch. To lock the latch so it doesn't open, you slide a tab on the latch into the locked position. When it's locked, there's a red indicator instead of a green indicator when it's unlocked. To lock that tab in place, there's another tab on the back that you slide up. Then to lock that tab in place, you fold it out and you can put a small padlock through the hole. At this point, the latch is locked into a fixed position and can't open. To unlock, you reverse the process by folding one tab in, sliding it down, sliding the next tab down, and removing your iPad Mini. It's sort of a Rube Goldberg way to secure your iPad. I could get over the cumbersome combination of switches if they truly provide a maximum security. However, with very little effort, you can easily remove the iPad Mini from the lock cradle. I will mention that the first time I did this, it was a little more difficult than now, but it was still way too easy. You're not going to be able to offer maximum security with a small plastic latch that easily flexes out of the way when locked. This is a shame too, because up until this point, everything about the cradle had been very solid. If you're looking for something to physically lock down your iPad to a mount, you're going to want to look elsewhere. Is this a good iPad cradle? Definitely. Is it made of premium materials like you would expect from a LifeProof product? Certainly. Would I recommend it? Probably so, with the caveat that it's not a secure way to mount your iPad. It will provide a convenient, sturdy way to mount your iPad, and I've enjoyed having it mounted at my desk for a couple of weeks now and using it as a dedicated music player. With the proper RAM mount, it can make a great cradle for almost any environment. Just don't lock it in the cradle and expect it to be there when you return. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.